In this Raising Reef video, we're going to be talking about coral placement and aggression. It's very tempting to pack your tank full of coral, covering every available piece of rock to create that abundance of colour and texture. And when you have mastered the art of keeping your corals alive, it's inevitable that they will start to grow. And this is a good thing. But if you haven't left much room between them, corals will eventually come together and this will result in fighting, if you haven't planned your coral placement with this in mind. Many corals of the same species can coexist right up against each other without any issues at all, like euphilia. So hammers, torches and frog spawn corals can be bunched right up against each other and they have no aggression towards each other at all. Corals of different species touching though can be devastating for the less aggressive of the two. I'm experiencing this issue in a couple of areas of my tank at the moment. After two years of all the corals growing happily side by side, they're starting to get a little bit too close for comfort and we're finding out which corals are the most aggressive when it comes to fighting for space. I have three lobos in my tank and I've previously made the mistake of putting two of them right next to each other, assuming they would play nice. But one of them decided to start eating the other and they had to be separated. And on the other side of my tank is the third lobo, which has decided to take a big bite out of a chalice coral that has dared to grow too close. Another coral that's been putting itself about a bit is my torch coral. This was a rescue that I didn't expect to survive, but given time and ideal water conditions, it's made a very good recovery. So much so that its tentacles are now sweeping out and starting to sting its neighbours. I've already previously moved one coral that was getting killed by the uh, tentacles of the torch, but now other neighbouring corals are starting to feel its wrath. Any tip that gets touched by a tentacle gets damaged, as you can see here. The solution to this is to move corals away from each other, but this isn't easy in a small tank with lots of coral. So bunching corals together that won't harm each other is your only chance. As you can see here, Montipora corals of many different types are growing right up against each other and showing no aggression at all. The only outcome here will be overgrowth by the coral which is growing quicker, or in some cases these corals will morph together. And the Acropora species here are growing into each other without any fighting at all. So taking this into account when placing your corals is important to avoid having to continuously move these corals when they start to grow towards each other. I did anticipate that my corals would eventually start to fight, but I was hoping that my new tank would be ready in time so I could transfer them over before we had to deal with any casualties. So I guess I'll have to do a little intervention in the meantime to help my corals to get along. So look out for a video in the near future that will show you how I move some corals around to buy me some time to get the new system up and running. I hope you found some value in this episode and will take coral aggression into consideration when placing your corals. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Take it easy guys and I'll see you in the next video.